This is the Primal Predator HD330. I'm going to run you through all the key things about this boat, which will help you make a decision if this is the right kayak for you. Hey, welcome along to my series of kayak reviews. My name's Jason, I've been in the kayak industry for the last 15 years, and in this time working in the kayak industry, I've had access to some amazing products. And the great thing about working in the industry, I get to play with these products a lot, so I've got some really good feedback. I spent a lot of time in the water with a lot of the products that I'm reviewing, so I can give you some pretty honest feedback. And hopefully in these reviews, we cover all the questions that you might have, but if I've missed anything, make sure you leave a comment and I'll answer straight away. And if you find these reviews useful, it really helps me if you share it around. So hit the subscribe button, share, comment, you know what to do. Let's get stuck into the review. What I think Primal and BCF have done here is they've found a really good compromise with a product that's fit for purpose and it's priced about right. So who is it for? Number one, it's your space saving option. So if you don't have a place to store a big kayak and or you can't transport something big and bulky, you want to be able to put it in a car. That's what an inflatable is perfect for. So from a fishing perspective, this is really going to appeal to the sight casting. Anyone sight casting. So you can get into really shallow water and you can see those fish. They won't even know you're there. You can sight cast onto them. It's so quiet. I mean, plastic is quiet, but this is even quiet again. So if you're looking for stealth, this is a really good option. There's a huge amount of space in the cockpit. So if you're taking it out fishing, I just drop a gear crate in the back. I actually use the Hobie H crate, which is something I already had, but you can put any sort of milk crate or any tackle box set up in the back because there's lot, so much room in the back there. The stability on this thing is ridiculous. I can literally walk 360 degrees in this area, take the seat out and I can walk bow to stern comfortably. I can walk to the front. Look how much stability we've got here, even at the front of the kayak. Turn around, even with a dog in the back. Look at her. Hey Bella. You've got your main hull, which has two pontoons, so you've got to pump up the two pontoons. And then you've got your floor. The deck grip is a non-slip EVA. Fantastic underfoot, really comfortable underfoot. And the dog's claws don't tear it up, so it's very strong. Storage pockets, which are both removable. They're really handy, just dropping stuff in there. A really comfortable seat, which can be set further back to give you more room up the front, or further forward if you want room at the back. You've got a paddle park on, on the right hand side, comes with a four piece paddle which fits in that bag comfortably. You've got the motor bracket, we'll touch on that in a minute, that comes with it, with the mounts at the back of the boat ready to just plug that straight in. Got a couple of anchor points at the back, they're quite handy if you do want to anchor up. Good storage underneath the front of the kayak, it's great if you want to just keep things dry and out of the sun. The bungee on the top is great for sliding things under, I'm using it just to slide my paddle underneath there. Now it comes with the Railblazer Star Ports, it comes standard with two rib ports and one Railblazer rod holder R. That gives you one rod holder you can put at the back or at the front, you can move it around to suit. And once you have the Railblazer star ports, there's a huge range of accessories you can add from the Railblazer product catalog. I've added two more rib ports, so I've got two at the back and two at the front, so I can run both rods at the back, or I can move another rod holder up the front for just putting a rod down when you want to reposition, or setting them both at the front so I control. I've also set it up for my camera, I've got cameras running so I can film all this action. Now the other thing I've added these star ports to is to accommodate my fish finder. So I've got a quick port on the back for the transducer pole, and that's a Railblazer transducer arm XL that'll hold my transducer. And then up the front, I can plug the head unit into any of these star ports using the Railblazer bases. So let's talk about the motor. That motor bracket comes standard. I've been running it with the Bixby motor, which is a 32 pound thrust equivalent. Uh, which has a very small lithium battery of its own. There's a strap at the back to handle a, a normal battery box that'll secure your battery box. So as long as you stay within the weight recommendations, you can decide how big a battery you want to go and how big of an electric you want to go, to be honest. Uh, the seat kind of gets in the way when you're trying to turn and control the longer pole that I have on the Bixby. So I fold, either fold it right the way back or take it straight out because it's really comfortable to sit on the sides of these pontoons just like you would on an inflatable rib. 
because it's really stable. So that's how I pretty much ran it. Or stand up. Standing up is fantastic. You can just get yourself to where you want to go, keep an eye on where you're going, and then sight cast. Pumping this up is pretty easy. You've only got five PSI to pump on each of these pontoons, and then you've got 15 PSI on the floor. It really takes less than 10 minutes, but if you don't enjoy it, you can go and buy the electric pump. Now, once you've pumped it up and you're ready to hit the water, a trolley is going to save you making multiple trips. You can throw everything into the kayak, put it on the trolley, walk it to and from your location. So another extra I recommend is getting a trolley. So that's an overview of the Primal Predator HD330. So I recommend checking it out. This is a fantastic product. You'll see a whole bunch of footage in here demonstrating all the different ways I've used it. Hopefully one of these scenarios ticks the boxes to what you need. If you've got any questions, don't hesitate to let me know or go and ask the BCF staff.